Yeah, we're Welcome. thrilled to have you. Thank you. you. It's wonderful to sit with Chicago fixtures such oh, as yourselves. Very kind. And uh, my wife and I are so excited to be here moving up from Texas. I need from you guys yes. and from you guys watching at home favorite restaurants, favorite <laughs> places to go. There's a lot to explore here. And you know that won't be hard. We love to share a good recommendation, don't we? Yeah. Briefly, we <laughs> want to say you fell in love with meteorology when you were eight years yeah. old. Eight years old. It's been a lifelong passion. Great. So, you know, if I get too in the weeds about the weather, <laughs> forgive me. It's, I can't stop. Sometimes. No, we like that here. We like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm also excited to bring you some sunshine for the weekend. Let's go outside where it is windy and cooler, but nice dry air coming in behind that storm system last night. The story for the weekend, though, some chilly temperatures for this time of the year with a frost possible, especially on Sunday morning west of town next week. Look at that. Already your first alert on what could be a rainy Tuesday as our next storm system moves our way. Let me take you out to the crib. A couple miles offshore where this snapshot from the uh, camera we've got out there is showing some chop on the lake. This is not a coincidence. That's from the gusty west winds under sunny skies. It's still a really pleasant day though out there. Nothing on the first alert radar, unlike that rainy night many of us had last night. Fortunately though, that slim risk of severe storms south of Chicago really didn't make it into our area. We did though in places like Champaign have some reports of thunderstorm wind damage, actually a downed power line in that area. Rest of the day looks great. Just a light jacket, sunglasses, although less of a need for that this afternoon as a few clouds pour in, keeping temperatures in the middle 50s for most of us. Later tonight, though, clear skies allow the heat to radiate out to space and it gets chilly. 33 in Aurora and McHenry could see some frost starting tomorrow morning west of Cook County. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, some of the coolest afternoon highs in a week and a half. Upper 40s, lower 50s under a mix of clouds and sun. On Sunday morning, temperatures even a degree chillier with a light freeze possible in parts of Kane, Kendall, and some other uh, rural and suburban counties in Cook County. Looks like we'll be in the upper 30s Sunday morning. Here's a quick look at the next rainmaker coming our way. It's moving our way from Canada on Monday with clouds increasing. Maybe a light shower by Monday evening. Tuesday, though, is umbrella weather. Showers, some thunderstorms, no major risk of severe weather yet. But you know how these things go. Stay with us. We're always getting new data. We'll keep you posted if that changes. Today, 57 with gusty winds and some increasing clouds this afternoon. Tonight, watch out for the moon looking great up there under a mostly clear sky. Winds relax a little 37, the low in Chicago. Seven day forecast looks great this weekend for your outdoor plans. Just a little chillier than you might expect this time of year. A 60% likelihood of rain and storms on Tuesday.